Da Vinci Resolve is an amazing tool, but not everything in it is obvious. There are features that are hard to find, but once you know them, they save you a ton of time. Today, I'll show you three small tricks I wish I knew earlier, and now I use them all the time. If even one of them helps you out, feel free to leave a like. Let's jump in. Motion blur infusion can slow things down so much, it just kills your editing flow. I used to manually disable motion blur in every single node and then re-enable it before rendering, but I'd often forget one. I'd only realize after the render that something was missing motion blur. Then came the pain. Going back, finding the mistake, fixing it, rendering again. Total waste of time. Luckily, there's a better way. Not many people know this, but you don't need to turn off motion blur in every node. Just right-click on the bar under the viewer and uncheck motion blur in the drop-down menu. Boom! Motion blur is gone from the preview, but it stays in the final render. You're making an animation and want to sync it with the voice. Maybe it's a narrator or someone on camera. So you drop in a fusion composition, open fusion, and silence. No audio. Now you're jumping back and forth between edit and fusion, guessing where to sync stuff. Total pain. Here's how to fix that. Press shift plus space, add a media in node. Then in the inspector, under the media source tab, set it to background. Go to the audio tab and click purge audio cache. That usually does the trick. And now you can hear everything while working. If you're working in DaVinci Resolve and want to save time when creating animated text, check out my custom presets. They work right out of the box, are easy to customize, and if you use the code YT10, you'll get 10% off. Link in the description. Sometimes, you just want to point at something, highlight a moment, direct the viewer's eye, and what's better for that than a simple arrow? Sure, you could drag in icons from the internet, but they're hard to customize, or download a ready-made animation, but then you lose control. What if you want a custom arrow, one you can style and animate your way? Here's how. Use the polygon node. But here's the trick. You don't need to draw it from scratch. Just add a polygon node, right-click on it in the viewer, select polyline, create, arrow. Boom, a ready-made arrow shape appears. You can now adjust thickness, shape, length, rotation, whatever you need. And of course, animate it. Way easier than drawing it by hand. 